Hello everybody, this is Omar Lara, and I'm excited to be here at the MWC uh, event on 2017 because now we are showing an ARM64 5G NFV with a whole Evo Packet Core demo uh, at our booth. I'm a solutions architect, very excited to explore this uh, trend generation uh, ideas for the telco industry. So what you can see here is essentially a couple of our servers uh, backed by a Thunder X, uh, a Cavium Thunder X. Uh, besides that, we have uh, the radio unit device uh, by Cavium as well. And we are presenting a demo that uh, essentially give, uh, can lead you to a better strategy in terms of reducing your TCO and uh, increase the density of the delivery of your services because the Evolve Packet Core that is running here essentially is running on top of an OpenStack cloud. That OpenStack cloud has to spin up some instances on top of a, a KVM a hypervisor that is running or enabled through the ARM64 servers. That means that essentially you can have choice uh, in terms of processors versus the traditional x86 solutions that exist so far in the market, at the market. So uh, besides that, we have another location on the KVM's boot where uh, we have another uh, KVM uh, remote radio unit. Uh, that remote radio unit is connected through an interfabric connect from here. And the rest of the core components for the Evolve Packet Core are running within the OpenStack instances. Uh, there's a component in those instances that essentially is the traditional Evolve Node B, the E Node B. That E Node B from our cloud is controlling the remote radio unit that uh, is at the Cavium's boot. So essentially, the idea or the general idea it's uh, that when it comes to economics, you can deploy your different Evolve Packet Core strategies uh, with a choice of processors, right? So for this specific, uh, specific case, uh, to deploy uh, your EPC on ARM64 will lead you to get the best uh, break-even point in terms of return of investment because uh, you can get uh, a denser, you know, and a better maybe performance and a low cost energy consumption in order to deploy this kind of workloads, right? Um, besides deploying on traditional, um, let's say, uh, full virtualization instances, you can deploy uh, on top of uh, Lexi containers that it's our next generation strategy for a lighter hypervisor uh, with no overhead on the full virtualization layer and uh, treating or behaving those different workloads or applications uh, at the, uh, with the performance of the bare metal because essentially they are just uh, working on the host label or even better uh, on uh, bare metal directly, right? So all these different strategies are uh, usually deployed through uh, our own tooling that essentially uh, it's uh, very friendly for the new trend generation when it comes to the uh, network functions, uh, virtualization platforms. Uh, we can see here uh, a small application that essentially is a video call where we have our Cavium colleagues on the other side. Let's see if they can, if they can uh, watch us. But um, we want to demonstrate that you can get a lot of benefits in terms of your uh, reduction of cost when you are moving maybe from uh, one uh, processor vendor to another there is uh, supporting a low cost consumption energy. Thank you very much for being part of MWC.